uh, you know more or less what you want, but not necessarily uh, what would be the outcome. So you, you don't try. have to rest to make the picture. So. Sorry. You don't have to rest to mm. make the picture. No, no. But after you are you getting stressed because you maybe you are afraid of of, uh, of the people. I mean, uh, because it will be bored and you 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 wait until you are happy, but you have to be fast and there's so much to to. To manage yeah, what yeah, you say yeah. and so yeah, 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 I need to go fast, 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 and after I need to talk with the people in the way that uh, the way to meet in these people and the right score that you want, and so it getting lots of stress. And, I mean, it's more and more critique that you can. Yeah. In frustration, it's about you know that this morning I see something nice and I didn't stop and uh, taking pictures. So. Okay. Alright, that's a good question. So how do you manage stress and frustration? Stress of like. Feeling stress when you're actually photographing the people, and the frustration is that like maybe missing photo opportunities or you're not. Yeah. Okay. Mm. The secret is getting into the zone. To the zone, Z O N E, like to the zone. Mm -hmm. When you're in the zone, only. When you're shooting pictures and you're in the zone, you see an interesting scene or a composition. The only thing that exists in your life is you, the camera, and the subject. And actually, if you get to, I like to call this like a Zen zone, where it's like photo meditation, like you lose your ego, you lose sense of time, and you lose fear. And First of all, listen to your gut. If you see something that you really want to photograph, don't think, just, just go for it. And this, maybe I'm going to more explain the feeling I get when this happens, when I'm in the zone. So, I see a, I see a person or a scene or a laughing lady, and my body and my soul just, it doesn't want to, it needs to make the picture. Like, if I don't take that picture, or at least try, I'm gonna go home and regret it or have frustration and just like punch myself in the face. So I get this whole body feeling that I must make the photo. And when I'm about to make the photo, it's not, oh, should I make the picture or not? Or should I, if I ask for permission or whatever, it's I'm going to take the photo and nothing's gonna stop me. Okay? So it's having this fire and this engagement in your heart that no matter what, you're going to make a picture, and you're not thinking of whether you're going to piss anyone off or not. It's how can I best make the picture? And in a sense, you kind of lose a sense of ethics. I would actually, to be quite frank, say, is that I'm going to use whatever tools in my psychological or photography toolkit to make the type of image that I want. And ultimately, you get to this Zen zone where you don't even fear. You're only thinking about the composition, the shapes, and the form, your positioning what questions you might ask them, open-ended questions, like, oh, what's your life story, what's your engagement? Or I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to get them to put their hand next to their face mm -hmm. in an interesting way? So I'm already thinking of like scripts, like, oh, um, you know, what is, what is your life story? Or even, this is another tip, is when you're talking with people, when you talk to people and you do stuff with your hands, people will imitate your hand gesture. It's actually really interesting. So mm -hmm. if you talk to somebody, say, oh, so, you know, can you tell me more about your life story? Can you keep scratching your chin? That person is going to subconsciously scratch their chin. And when I'm making the picture, I'm actually quite a little bit more aggressive and pushy because you know so there's some people who don't like to make their have their photos taken. But for me, if I want the photograph that bad, I'm actually not going to care about their feelings. To be frank. Because as a photographer and a visual artist, the photos you shoot of your subject is not about the subject, it's about you. So one of my favorite photographers, his name is Richard Abaddon, he photographed a lot of people essentially looking quote quote ugly or not so nice. He says, you know, I'm sorry that they feel that way, but this picture is not about the subject, it's about my reflection of myself as a human being, how I see the world, and what I see in that person, not necessarily what that person actually is. So when you're shooting, 
I tried to shoot a lot of horizontal pictures and vertical pictures because I'm actually not sure which one's going to be the best until afterwards I get home. Get close, 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 work the scene, work the scene, click, 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 click. And then once you feel like you have the photo, you don't have the photo, push yourself to shoot 25% more than what you think you should shoot. So let's say you see an interesting person, you've taken like 10 or 12 pictures. You're like, okay, I think I got the picture, but the person looks a little bit upset. You haven't got the shot yet, so try to shoot like four or five more pictures. Oh, sorry, you know, my camera's not working so well, do you mind if I make a few more pictures? Or you just 